Hello everybody and welcome back to Fenton Forest Farm with me Siwadiso here in Farming Simulator 19. We are continuing our um, sugar beet harvest over on field 13. Helper Helgi is driving the harvester at the minute. Our, our new super duper awesome uber sugar beet harvester and potato harvester. I'm running the uh, distinct, uh, distinction trailer. We've also got another helper Helgi over on field um, six doing the cultivating of that ready to get me in a position where I can get that field fertilized again and then get it um, reseeded and I then also need to get the straw collected from field 3 as a result of doing the barley harvest in the last episode and then that field can also be fertilized and then cultivated ready for its next seeding stroke planting or whatever we put on there which would hopefully be nice if I got a subscriber request task of what to plant on that field same as with field six for the super duper awesome uber field be nice if i could get some input on what people would like to see planted on those i'm trying to go to the grain mill to sell me sugar beets because that place is offering the best price i messed up in the last video i was looking at the potato prices and i went to the fenton mill and sold my first trailer load and didn't get a lot of money for it because <laughs> I was looking on the wrong column so sugar beet pricing this place is the best and this place is number one We got 32 grand this time. That's much better pricing. So that gives me 64 grand for a trailer load. Just over. Nearly 65 grand. For a full trailer of um, sugar beets. Take a bit of time to do this field. Helgi's got a job on <laughs> to harvest this field for me. Like I say, I do sadly destroy a little bit of crop each time I come in here to unload this thing. Can't be helped because of how he he lifts his header up and continues to roll forward. I kind of wish the AI would um, roll back. A or just stop before they've actually got completely full stop in advance course play would of course um, reverse back up and out of the way a bit to let you get in here to all mode better but I didn't want to do course play for this a normal helper is good enough to drive up and down this field and harvest the um, sugar beets in our super duper awesome uber Sugar beet harvester. Obviously, we've got another header at the store which can do the potatoes, which are over there on field 15, which we will be getting to very, very soon. Chances are we'll probably need to harvest that field tomorrow, unless it gets baked today. It's dark green, it's threatening. The sugar cane, uh, the poplars are also dark green. So they're going to switch to needing harvesting soon. It's 
Brighton, isn't it? <laughs> right, let's go and have a look then. How is other Helgi getting on? Other helper Helgi? Down here on the um, field six is doing an all, a reasonably okay job. Using the new, the tri six that we bought to operate our, 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 our loading wagon windrower type machine. And this is using course play, this one. And again, I can hit Alt S. Oh, no, I can't. Change his camera if I do that. But I'm not in control. You can turn them the, the, the dotty lines off as I showed you last time. But because the worker's hired, all it does is change the camera. Once I'm in charge, I can disable the dotty lines. Couple of little patches, little, little, little tiny little bits that Helgi's missed, but not enough that I'm going to shout at Helgi for messing up the field. Not like um, old Chugger Beat Harvester keeps missing strips when he stops and starts. Of course, mean I've got to get over here now with. So there's a little bit down here as well, and a little bit over here where he's not cultivated. And so there's a little bit back there that we've just seen that he's not quite managed to cultivate. We'll take care of that. Uh, trying to think. We're going to need. What's going to be better, the manure spreader? The terrigator? Mm. Or do I go fit the, um, the John Deere self-propelled spreader with um which was a, i don't want to use chemical fertilizer do i really i want to get into that habit the only thing we spray chemicals on is grass or have done so far this year is we tended to use slurry digestate and um manure for all our natural fertilizing needs so i could digestate spread field sit I've got the big Samson tank parked over by our little shed system at the top of the field. So I could do it that way. The trouble is, I would have to go and re. I'm, I would most likely definitely have to refill. Um. At some point. Good row gator, because he's parked just down there in the shed. But again, he'll probably run out of manure, and the only place I can get manure from is the main farm silo. I don't have one out here anywhere. Although, now I've got a standalone placeable version of it I could put a um, put a um, slurry manure silo another one in couldn't I I could uh, not expensive.
Right, let me... Allow me to try and access this, um... Cell station. Lol. With this trailer. I'm gonna get it straightened up a lot earlier. It doesn't... Because it always collides with these fences. Helps also if I press the right buttons to do the unloading. Right, so help Helgi is finished. In me propo. So goodbye Helgi. Thank you for doing this job. As I say, you were better than your fellow named individual counterparty person who um sadly is a bit rubbish. So it's just a little bit I need to touch upon. This field. So I then need to get a um, fertilizer. Either we digestate it or we manure it. Then try sink. Very, very happy. Field done. Fold up the bent the cultivator. Which is a nice cultivator and one I very rarely ever used in the game. Oddly. I normally just go straight for the um, flexi coil. And I didn't tend to use this, or I go for the um the Lempkin. And there's that scumbag train look I still haven't forgot. I haven't forgot. One day, when you're not expecting it, I'm going to steal that train and I'm going to park it somewhere. Well out of the way. Right, I need to find somewhere to house this.
Oh, I don't like this. I think I've probably found the reason why I probably don't use this for, um... Because it's got one of them dodgy front steering axles. And I don't like them things. It's trying to fight me the whole way. Can I not lock that? Apparently, the lock steering axle mod doesn't work with this trailer, with this cultivator. Which means I'm going to have an absolute nightmare of a time. In that shed, unless I just disconnect it, hop out, come along here. Even that doesn't really help. Um, come on. Why, why, why you fight me? Stop fighting me. Here we go. JD. I totally put that away. Didn't I? No shenanigans involved there. Uh, right, so if we digest eight this machine, this field. We're going to need a bigger digester. Which there isn't one. We're also going to need to fill it all with digestate, which means a trip back to the main farm. I don't know if the Challenger is full of manure. Let's find out. Where is it? It's on here somewhere. Two. And it's a right disgrace, isn't it? Dirt wise. Um Well we're nearer to the main farm with this than we are with the challenger, so I might as well go fill up with digest eight then. I do need to get another silo put down then so I can store some more um, manure and slurry and stuff. Somewhere that's going to be a bit more practical to get to for the other fields as well. which means putting it in a different part of the map. I also fully also realised that whilst I'm deliberating about doing this, other helper Helgi is sat waiting for me to unload him of sugar beets. <laughs> I will get back to you in a minute, Helgi. I promise. I just need to do a bit more... Um, It's hard work trying to do everything yourself on this map. 
mean, let's have a quick look. I mean, I've still got a lot of slurry and manure to shift out of there. I've got milk, slurry, manure to shift out of them. Horses will be ready for selling soon. So I'm driving that, so if I press no, Alt and C, it gets rid of me silly lines look. A bit smaller. So I could really do with a, another one of the manure silo places over here somewhere. In this area somewhere, map perhaps. So I've got easy access. Mm -hmm. Run along, Helgi. Who's this one? This is Mavi. Helper Mavi. Hello, Mavi. Welcome to the farm. Try to do a good job. Don't miss bits. Bloody, bloody, bloody. Yada, yada, yada. All that good stuff. Where's me combine? Right down your end. Come in. You're going to miss that whole bit now, aren't you? Hey, uh, sorry. Can't harvest that. Because I've rolled all the way through the clock. What? Check the prices. Oh, the grain mill prices have gone down. Everybody's prices are going down. Grain elevator east then. Is the next location. Yeah. 
if I remember right, he's actually just over yonder. So I can actually go this way. To get to it. Indeed, it's just here. Where the hell he is, because he's going to want unloading again in a second. Actually, probably wants unloading now. That's why he stopped where he has. Port Northwest is the best price for sugar beets, but I'm not driving all the way there. I'm not. That would be stupid. Dude looks like he's done. Two Edlands? And has nearly used... Well, he's used over half of his digestate. Obviously that bit there is where we had the crop destruction from when the harvester reversed when he was course playing reverse silly and I couldn't get to him to unload him and ended up driving through the crop. Which is not ideal, that's not really how you want to um do your harvesting, but there wasn't a lot we could do about it. Obviously next time I harvest the field with a harvester, I'll make sure he does the headlands first so the pipe is always accessible. I'm not going to have to drive through crops. 
making a clockwise and make sure the pipe's on the outside. Dude is sadly going to run out of digest date. I'll just unload Helgi and then I'll be back to fill that guy up with digest aid. And I probably need to head to the grain elevator east, unload this, come back. I don't know how many more passes he's got to do. Three, maybe four. I've got to do a lot. <laughs> Drop destruction there to fill that rear bin. I think it's raining outside in real life. It's not very dark. Yeah, it definitely sounds like it's tipping it down. Doing a bit of rain. Not had any for a while. It's been a very dry spring. Summer's sort of creeping in very early here in the UK and uh, that can't be good for real life farmers and their crops. I did notice yesterday when I was when I went to another hospital appointment yesterday and we went quite through a bit of the rural part of the, the county I live in um, to get to the, the city where the hospital is. I saw a lot of farmers out in their fields doing work. It was quite interesting actually, quite a scenic um, journey. I got to see uh, quite a few class tractors, a lot of the classes. Um, saw a couple of case um, sprayers, which was quite awesome. Saw a, a Challenger Rogator sprayer as well, in, in one field. Um, What else did I see? So a couple of JCB fast tracks, a couple of uh, challengers, um, Komatsus, Komatsu like loaders and um, diggers. Uh, saw a couple of caterpillar type vehicle, caterpillar vehicles as well um, in operation. Saw a couple of John Deere's. I saw a, se a, seven, a couple of seven series and an eight series. There was one also in a field that was um, fertilizer spreading with a bradle. I was like, "Wow, I've actually done that in game, and then I've now seen one doing it in real life." 
So yeah, I was doing the I spy with my little eye in the car yesterday. All the um, tractors and equipment that I've actually used here in this game <laughs> being used in real life by real farmers. As I say, a lot of farmers out there with sprayers putting down uh, either water irrigating the fields because obviously it's been quite dry or spraying fertilizer or pesticides or herbicides or whatever on the um, fields I really enjoyed the journey yesterday it was nice seeing all the, this machinery in action through the countryside don't think that the person in the car with me was quite as excited about it every time I kept pointing out the vehicles and the different tractors and stuff and that I, I, I own one <laughs> in the game oh look there's a John Deere AR I own one of them although mine's made by Stevie and it's much better than that one <laughs> was I think the line I actually actually said Seeing the Challenger Rogate a sprayer on my way on the way home on the return journey, that was really cool. Because as it was driving towards me, I could, I, I'd seen, a, as I say, saw a couple of the case ones on the way out, and then this was, and I was like, "That's what's that?" I saw it like yellow, and I was trying to work out what sprayer it was, and then I say it come past us, and then it got Challenger Rogator on the side of the the engine bit. I saw a John Deere sprayer as well, self-drive sprayer, self-propelled sprayer. There's a farmer using one of them. It looked a bit different to the one I've got in game though. It did. Um. Didn't look. Didn't seem to look like that if I'm being totally honest as a sprayer it actually looked and this is, this is why it confused me a bit when I was seeing it until we got up close to it and could see the John Deere badges and stuff on it uh, nope Honestly, it looked a bit more like that. It did look more like a 9R with the shape and everything and the way the body was articulated. But then it had like a sprayer and everything on the back. But it didn't look like a trailer. It looked like it was actually mounted on the... Uh, on the machine. A bit like that, actually. Got the skinny wheels. But it just got a big tank and spray arms on the back of it. Which I thought was kind of unique. Right, I've got to get my proto now. Right, so you're going to be stop driver. Current waypoint. Right, need to go fill him up again then with some more digestate. Another trip back to the farm then. That's 78,000 litres we've put on this field and quite a bit short. <laughs> well, as I've used all the digestate in that other silo why did I come in this way so yeah I can tip gra grass in there to make hay which is a bit useful got a TMR there probably should get scoop in that out really get some of it sold off
Another full tank of digest eight going in. This will soon be on field six. Helgi has a nearly full grain tank, so I'll have to head over back over to him in a minute. Make sure he's taken care of and well satisfied. I do like this Fent Tri-6. I can't wait for the updated VT version, which is going to be a little bit of an improvement, a little bit better. I hope we get the option to paint it proper Fent colours and customise the colours on it a bit. That would be kind of nice. Because right now it's kind of wrong. It would be nice if the badges as well were more like actual Fent logo colours. It's like the Vario was in like the Fent red. We'll see what the model comes up with who's been converting this and doing it. As I say, I'll check the uh, GNG modding group's Facebook page fairly frequently, so as soon as he releases it, I should be able to download it. You're going to turn left because you always do up here. The AI traffic never drives down there into the main town. You always go right up here as well. And then the traffic coming out of there turns left. And goes back this way. It's amazing how you learn the idiosyncrasies of the traffic on the map and where it tends to go to and where it doesn't. And so you can plot your way around it. Like we was heading down here. Of course, he has turned it off now. Mr. Strip, great demand at bioheating for what? Bioheating has a great demand for digestate of all things. Hmm. May possibly have to go and investigate that. We've got a fair bit in the silo. Do you want unloading, pal? I'm getting to you. Oh, imagine how annoying the um, potatoes are going to be. Because field 15 is a heck of a lot bigger than this one. Heck of a lot bigger. Check the price again quickly, make sure we're not selling it. So I'm going to sell it somewhere stupid. Still 308 at the grain elevator east. Get this lot sold.
the rest of it. And then we'll head back to the field. We've already nearly got a full grain tank. Get the birds. You know what? If he's parked pipe out this way this time, I might drive through and let him fill the back bin up first. I will go around and tidy the field up and try and pick up some of these bits he's clearly overwhelmingly missed. Right, I was nearly finished. Oh, so it has apparently finished. To me, it looks like he's missed some bits around the field. So I'll, I'll have to go and redo those myself as well. Mr. Proto, where are you? Stop driver. Right. You've got a little bit of... Um, a little bit to do there. Somewhere down here to the, the right a bit. I think that bit there. Lastly, there's a big area right in front of me. Probably this bit right here. That's all of it. Excellent. 
excellent stuff. Starting to sun starting to set a little bit now on the map. It's gonna get a little bit late in the day. Done a fair bit today then, sugar beet harvest and um, getting that field cultivated and um, fertilised. Sadly haven't made it to the uh, straw on field 3 but that can come in another episode. It's not going anywhere is it? <laughs> it's not like it's going to rot at the minute, you don't have the seasons mod yet for the game so I don't have to worry too much about that. Do need to find somewhere where I can place a manure and slurry silo out here on the map. That is something I have got to do. Where is he? He's behind me. Ah, the fuel place is right in front of me, look. It's over there, where you can fill up your cars. So it'd be nice if there was a cell point there for the diesel then that I can now make. I'm actually just going to take this to Fenton Mill. I'm not going to drive to Elevator East to get rid of this um, load of sugar beets. need now or somewhere on the map where we can put one of these where it's not going to be in the way of anything or anyone down here I want one down there or will it be best served up here perhaps still 14 over here this is where we've got our row gator and everything That's the poplars, isn't it? Uh, I don't know if I put one of them in there. If I got rid of the, the fertilizer station, actually, that lime station. One, of the, one in down here. Can't we? Put one there. Done. Sold. Sold to that, that man in the orange truck and trailer. And I can take some manure 
and slurry uh, and digestate. I can take some manure and digestate and put in there. So then we've got the ability to refill the machines without having to drive all the way back to the farm. Oh, yeah. So anyway, at this point, I will, I'm going to say we've reached the end of today's episode because it's about 57 minutes now. So I am going to say thank you for watching the episode. Please make sure you've clicked the like button. You've left your questions, your comments, suggestions and feedback in the comment section down below. You've gone ahead and pressed that subscribe button if you are not already doing so. And I've been see what you so. This is the Fenton Forest Farm map by Stevie. And it's goodbye for now.